Welcome to my channel. Have a nice day. Breaking news has us looking forward to when we can know today that William and Kate highlighted the mental health initiative and the courage of healthcare workers. Appearing on the morning show BBC Breakfast on Friday via a video call, the royal couple hailed the staff and volunteers who are on the front lines during the COVID-19 pandemic. They also highlighted the Every Mind Matters mental health initiative that aims to help people take simple steps to look after their well-being and support others. We felt very strongly that now more than ever this was a vital tool and a vital service that people could easily access at home to guide them and give them just some very basic tips to mind their mental health, to mind their mental well-being through this process, Prince William said. I think again, staying connected, staying positive and being able to talk to friends and family is so crucial and having just some tips and some ideas as to how to tackle some of these strange feelings and difficult circumstances we're finding ourselves in is really important, just to nudge us through these next few weeks," he added. Speaking to broadcaster Tina Dehealy, who hosted the 2018 Royal Foundation Forum, William added, Frontline workers are used to dealing, sadly, with very sad situations, death and things like that, but I think the scale and the speed of what's going on in hospitals, bearing in mind also the isolation, a lot of these patients are dying with no family members around them. I think for the NHS frontline workers that are very difficult, because they are there right next to the bedsides, looking after and caring for each and every patient in a critical condition, and I think they take away that pain and that sometimes that fear and loneliness that these patients have to go through. They're the ones who absorb that and take it home to their families and I think again, I've spoken about the attrition and the daily attrition rate of that happening to somebody is not normal and we're not superhuman any of us, so to be able to manage those emotions and that feeling is going to take some time after all this is over as well. Kate also shared her thoughts on how the pandemic will fundamentally change what we value. I think what we're saying now is the NHS and the frontline workers are doing the most extraordinary job, and that's really come to the forefront in the last few weeks. I think it's going to dramatically change how we all value and see our frontline workers, and I think that is one of the main positives that you can take from this," she said. They do an extraordinary job, and now I think all of us as a nation can really see how hard they work and how vital their work is. Besides, Prince William penned a sweet letter to the hero captain's NHS appeal. Prince William, the Duke of Cambridge, and Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, are the latest to pay tribute to Captain Tom Moore, who has raised more than £16 million for the NHS by walking laps of his garden. Prince William has written to Second World War veteran Captain Tom Moore, whose fundraising efforts have captured the heart of the nation. Captain Moore has been walking lengths of his garden and originally set himself the target of 100, reaching his goal today. But he has kept striding, at the Bedfordshire home where he lives with his family, and plans to carry on as donations continue to pour in. His actions have won him plaudits from all areas with Boris Johnson, convalescing after spending a period in intensive care with COVID-19, looking at ways to honor the former Second World War veteran. Originally from Keithley in West Yorkshire, Captain Moore trained as a civil engineer before enlisting in the Army for the Second World War, rising to captain and serving in India and Burma. William has followed in the footsteps of his father the Prince of Wales, who is a well-known letter writer, and penned a note to Mr. Moore. Its contents are not known, but it is likely he wrote to praise the 99-year-old who, speaking at the finish line, said he felt fine and that he was surrounded by the right sort of people. Elsewhere, a petition has been started for Captain Moore to be knighted. Those calls for him to become a Sir have been led by the likes of Good Morning Britain presenter, Piers Morgan. Almost 100 petitions calling for Captain Tom to be knighted have now been started, with the most popular on Change.org achieving more than 400,000 signatures. He is Just Giving's biggest single fundraiser, and has said described being knighted by the Queen as the greatest honour that any person could get. Prime Minister Boris Johnson has already said he will consider calls for the WW2 hero to be knighted. Tom has captured the heart of the nation with his heroic efforts and has raised an incredible amount of money for hard-working NHS staff. The Prime Minister's spokesman told a Westminster briefing, from his military contributions to his support for NHS staff, Tom has demonstrated a lifetime of bravery and compassion. The Prime Minister will certainly be looking at ways to recognize Tom for his heroic efforts. Captain Tom Moore had a great contribution. 
Do you think so? Leave your comments below to discuss. Please like and share this video with your friends. Subscribe to my channel to make sure you never miss any royal story.